Shama Gupta, a founder and CEO of Creative Experts and our product name Torango.com. Are you in the journey where your you no know, path seems to be deserted? It doesn't mean that you're in a wrong path. You're actually in the path where your ambitions dominate your comfort. Welcome to the world of entrepreneurship. Today, we're going to talk about how we bring clarity to complexity. Yeah. Can you help me? Can anybody solve this mathematical problem? Unless you have one thing called knowledge about sin thetas and cos thetas of the world, you cannot even imagine to solve this problem. The first keyword that I want to talk about is knowledge. The next juggler. Can anybody think about the workflow? This is a classic workflow from an enterprise system. So, unless you think from a process driven angle, you cannot even think about solving that puzzle of workflow system. So, the second keyword that we are going to talk about today is process. Chip designing. The, the most important thing in solving the chip design or adding something to the chip is science. So, the third thing that we want to talk about is science. So, there are three keywords why I am talking on a UX uh, conference like this is because user experience is no more an art, it is a science, it is a process it is a knowledge that you need to infer from the, your surroundings to design something better for the industry. Let me walk into this. Let us take a classic example of enterprise mobility, which is as complex as it can be in the world, because that is most complex systems. Uh, the reason why I have selected this is uh, if somebody can solve this enterprise mobility gamut of things with the user experience then it is, is a use case that we can set to. So, that is the reason I have selected this. And we will see how this uh, knowledge, process and science apply together, solve this biggest thing called user experience, uh, enterprise mobility. To introduce myself, I'm, I worked in a companies like Symantec and Motorola earlier, uh, you know, solving their enterprise mobility problems. Uh, and helping Walmarts of the world get their enterprise mobility products. With that knowledge, uh, we started Storango. Why is this enterprise mobility complex? The reason why it is complex is because this fellow takes three different things into picture. People, complex to handle. Process, again next big complex things to handle. And finally, should not reduce the impact of technology in this world. Enterprise mobility works on all these three. It requires impact, I mean it requires all these things, things to work together. Let us go deep into it. Each individual block has its own problem statements to carry with. People. Here if you see people are workers, I mean the, the employees in the team. The team and the individual, they have to work as individuals and also collaborate to the team. So, it becomes a complex network by itself. You have customers, they live in their own world, they know what they want. Uh, sir, they wanted to post some services to you and expect some, some kind of support mechanisms and everything, CRMs, ERPs of the world to be lying out there. So, enough complexity involved there. Process. When you say process, information, tasks, it, it follows a certain process to close it. He was talking about a priority 1, priority 2 and priority 3. There is a process attached to all the priority activities and non-priority activities. Everything takes a process. Not reducing the business operations and business ecosystem process, which makes more complex because as a business, if I am ecosystem partner with somebody else, complexity increases. Now we come to the technology. Technology is equally problematic because uh, the infrastructural options in the real world now, say for example, mobiles are getting every month you get a new set of devices and these days bring out your own device concept 
which most of the enterprises uh, take up is adding more complexity to it with uh, two major keywords like compatibility and security. So looking at all these things and uh, our most important problem like user interfaces. So all these things make the enterprise mobility complex. And what we have attempted like from the company called Store on Go, what we have attempted is to solve this enterprise mobility as an issue for not for the big boys, but bring this enterprise mobility closer to small and medium businesses. A retail shop nearby should be able to get the entire mobile enterprise mobility which is now with the big boys like Walmart. Uh, we wanted a small uh, boutique should get the entire enterprise mobility needed for them it, with, a, with a very click. So this itself is an interesting story to talk about today. At the same time, what if we want to add more masala to it? There are more than 10,300 plus categories identified in the small and medium business segment which needs enterprise mobility. That becomes a better story today. So let us, this is a journey that we made, like we are a wage old company, we started in 2009, uh, but ideation and everything triggered and conceptualized in 2011. It took five years to us to build the entire story. I told you why. We wanted to bring visible simplicity to cognitive simplicity. Okay, I'll walk you through that. Just quick glance through our product. Like business listings on, on go, store on go generates. Your mobile presence needed. It generates your entire mobile apps and everything needed without coding effort. Mobile first campaigns, you can send your offers, products, camp services and everything to your mobile audience and you will see the enhanced customer visibility of your product on mobile. So this is what we built on the fly. With a very simple model, in few simple steps that you add Google, give Facebook, you know, give your website and that's it. We pull all the information that you have and we create a mobile application out of it, which is promotional in nature, which is HTML5, which is loyal, of which for the loyal, loyal customers, we give Android native applications and iOS native applications automatically generated without any line of code written. Transactional, Facebook business pages becomes transactional with our model now. So this is a platform that we developed, but I'll give you the why, how we developed it. Because I, show, I talked about the complex theme, uh, enterprise mobility creations. Now I say five steps, you get your mobile applications ready. The way we did it is we strictly adhere to the process, visible simplicity to cognitive simplicity. Art is basically interpreted, but the design is basically understood. So that's our concept. We believe that we are the customers for our product. We say we are the users. So for us, for my daughter's school, I am a user. So I need to experience that first. So that's how we say self-design, genius design. We say because with our experience from the enterprise mobility, with our experience in workflow management system, with our experience in ERPs, CRMs, we build something and this can be inherent to anything. So genius design, we need to have knowledge. User centric design, which is primarily focuses towards the behavior of the user. This is why I said cognitive model. So first two are knowledge. The third one is basically the understanding about the customer's behavior. How customers feel about a particular thing right now. What is, what is that they are inferring out of the entire UI that you are presenting? All these things that you need to take care of, that's where we call it as user centric design. And the user experience design process starts with understanding the problem instead of defining the solution. We wanted to understand the problem first, that's where you get knowledge. The process of the entire uh, user experience that we have is to first understand what is the problem. The problem here is what industry needs. The second problem is what consumers expect. And the third problem is what is the workflow and CRM behavior of a particular industry. So with these three things in process set, we started experimenting about our knowledge or improving our knowledge base. This is the most important slide or interesting slide for us. We made lot of research in understanding what would be customer need it for, for taking it forward. If you see in the consumers are looking for, if you see restaurants and dining, 
47 percent of the people actually look for this for map, distance and direction. When they want to go for a restaurant, 47 percent of the people look for that particular aspect of things. You go to the retail, 38 percent hours of operation. They, they wanted to go for a mall and they want to understand is it a mall open or not. So, our behavioral aspect of understanding the application or opening application is to understand these things. So, if you are building a retail mobile application, your hours of operation should be very much elegant and positioned on the top. So, people when they open the application, they see hours of operation right on the top. When you see for the restaurants and dining, because 47 percent of the people understand or need to understand what is the direction to it, so it has to be positioned on the top, it has to be elevated. Like this, there is statistical analysis done on the user behavior about each and every particular element that we need to position in the mobile application. So, that is how we started our knowledge graphing, like that is where we started understanding about the product. And you know, when I am talking about bringing enterprise mobility, Walmart, we had 70 people, so we, we know how to code. But bringing down that to a non-coding environment, it has to build automatic. So, we followed something called artificial intelligence based UI. I will go back to the previous slide again to show, okay, this is the artificial intelligence. The artificial intelligence now, the feed of artificial intelligence talks about, you know, in restaurant 47 percent map is high, so that has to be positioned at the higher level. So, based on the knowledge that we have acquired, our positioning of is higher. So, let me walk you through because now the second problem is in the company itself there are multiple roles. So, there are multiple roles like I will give a classic example a clinic, a small clinic. When as a patient I walk into the clinic, first thing I talk about is the admin. I take a appointment of doctor to the admin and admin has all the rights to give a particular slot for me. So, for him he is only worried about slots of a doctor not about anything else. So, what he sees is what he has to do. We should not see anything other than that. We should not clutter his mobile application with all the data lying out there. So, when he logs in as admin, he will see only the appointment scheduling, that is it. Second role in the system is nurse. Nurse when you go, I, she take my, my vitals and she feeds it in the form, that is all she will do and position it for me to the doctor. Doctor prescribes me medicines that is all his role is. So, based on the role our UI user interface should be very much positioned. So, few things visible, few things not visible, what you see is what you want, hide everything else. Let us bring simplicity or clarity to the complex environments. You know consumers are more brilliant in this. We again have to go back to the slide to understand what is that consumer is looking. And make informed decisions of based on your industry vertical knowledge, that is what I was trying to show you. Content added or content received, I will give you again a classic example here. Say some of the restaurants do have chef specials today, some of the restaurants have Friday specials. If that particular content is added by a restaurant that has to be positioned on the top, because that is one thing business as the as them I want to promote in their applications. So, it is a business intent. That business intent has to be positioned on the top of the application. So, it has to be informed decision based on the content added or retrieved from the social media or anywhere else to position our user interface. <coughs> category based artificial intelligence, I will just give you an example of each one of them. So, based on the category you have to position your, your uh, you know user interface. What happens with this is fine, get discovered. I was listening to the, you know, get discovered search engine optimized and the discovery friend platform friendly apps. When we generate application, it has to be found somewhere, right? So, it has to be found on Google now, Spotlight or Key Point Solutions. It has to be positioned, it has to be discovered by third parties. So, our applications till now we, when you talk about websites, you talk about SEOs, you talk about mobile applications, it has to be discovery friendly. 
reach. Position information needed in not more than three steps. Any see now there is lot of information available. Say if I don't find in an application in next to two steps, immediate thing I'll do, I shift from Uber to Ola. I shift from something to something else. So the attention span of your customer today is very much narrowed down. So you cannot, as a user experience designers, you cannot think about taking the fourth step. So your delivery application, I mean, the content delivery should happen in less than two steps or three steps. Most important thing, engage your customers, usability aspects of it, uh, push relevant information at the real, real time. And this is where you need to in, draw a clear line between content, content delivered, information respected, functionality, platform, user interface, usability, and more importantly, centric towards the users. That if you can give a clear lines, if you draw a clear lines between all of this, you are perfect. That's what we call it as user experience. With store on go, we generate automatic, we, we built a entire auto building UI exercise and that's where we are generating applications for it. Thank you. It's me Rama.